Honorable Trolley. No, no, no. Ben Sidwe, out of order. Honorable Deputy Speaker, today I find myself with more questions than answers. I truly believe that we must honestly confront the hard truth about the poor service delivery and corruptions within our municipalities. If we want to ensure that all South Africans can enjoy their constitutional rights. Every year in his State of the Nation address, the President seems to present himself as someone who can take action against corruption. Dututaneng is a village that is not different from places where post-apartheid icons like Andrew Statani and Pulo Tulo lost their lives during the protest for basic service delivery from government. The right of people to access the running water, electricity, health care and education are consistently undermined by the corrupt elite in this government. Honorable Deputy Speaker, allow me to pose the following question in this House. Why, after 19 years of our democracy, our nation is still prone to violent crime and corruption? Why does the personal gain supersede the needs of our people? What justifies this hunger power that at the expense of the marginalized people? Why do leaders think that it is correct for them to use the democratic institution to further their corruption. For example, the Department of, of Health in the Free State will overspend about 250 million this year, while the under-resourced health facilities in the Lijua Lipuzwa and Fezile Dabe district have the highest child mortality rate in the country, nearly 50 deaths per thousand births. Where is the money going? Before the birth of our democracy, we enjoyed all pains of a violent crime, poverty, unemployment, dictatorship, and inequalities of opportunities. The memories of this sorrow it still lives in our hearts. The sad part, however, is that all those things still continue as I stand before all of you today. In search for answers, I realize that the ANC has lost touch with the people who voted them into power. There is now an enemy that has taken root in my, in my province, the Free State, over many years. Patronage networks in the provincial government and in municipalities. That has <coughs> led to the collapse of service delivery. I can't be, it can't be right that the rural clinics that are saving the Free State people still struggle without the basic medication, doctors, while our children die from unnecessary causes. If President Zuma is serious, about, the, about fighting the corruption, he would work within his own party to remove corrupt leaders who have built these patronage networks over years to have reigned the provincial government. Why for so many years, President Zuma, you failed to use your political authority to remove these corrupt leaders like my Premier Ace Mahashule in his office? This is the premier that has overseen the financial collapse of provincial government, department, and municipalities to the extent that the national trader, they have to intervene. This premier has played the political game with the measure of the Sosolberg and Paris municipality. That has led to the violence and to the killing of people. From what I've seen, it is a politicized public service it is politicized service delivery, and that lead to the desperate times where people kill each other for fear and anger that things may get worse. Only one party that value good governance and put the, the service delivery first can save the people of the free state. The president, in his lack of commitment to deal with this corruption, has shown that Ndade, you are not ready to take this cult South Africa forward. I want to warn Mr. President today that the Free State voters will punish him and his party in 2014. The winds of change are blowing through the Free State and the DA is the party that is going to lead that change. Yeah. 
Ho na le ho bona tshinyo ye re tla beng re baetse ditse yona ke a leboga.